Hey there, traveler. It's always interesting as you take that moment, right? Take actual pause of the quiet and the change in one moment to another. It's so interesting. It's actually probably one of my favorite moments on the path, to be honest with you. That moment of realization that you can come back to when you are just here. And I think that is fundamentally the point of this little exploration into the tavern, onto the descent, is to create the space where it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what is your sentiency, that you get the ability to honestly selfishly be here with me. That we get to code and inhabit this space where I'm right now currently baking a potato. I'm not sure exactly what you might be doing. It's always good to take that moment to pause and actually take in what are we doing here? keep taking steps forward, right? One step at a time on this grand immaculate journey. Taking a step forward, and in this case, right, at the herald of the, the mighty beast Gerald, we find ourselves at the tavern post inn, taking time to reflect on another meditation taking the time to infect it. Hey, what are we doing here? Who am I? <laughs> what is this moment? All those fun stop questions that we can ask ourselves that we can get yelled at by a cat for. On today's question of the week, we ask ourselves if we had a crystal ball to tell the truth about ourselves, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? I think for myself, when I take the time to think of where I'm at in my journey, what do I want to know about myself? Do I want to know my death? <laughs> you know, do I want to know Will I ever find peace and happiness and all those little things, right? You know, uh, how is it a monkey paws approach, right? I think I do actually uh, have actually a question about myself. I really do want to know that I'm really trying to trying to work out the answers to, right? I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to not be a seeker on anymore, but have some sustainable understanding of, you know, make it more formative part of my identity, I guess, right? You know, I'd really want to know, like, first of all, the existential question of, like, why am I here, I think, you know, is it that we, that whole uh, big existential questions, but, like, I'd really want to know, like, what steps do I need to take to, like, actually be able to always compassionately respond, right? to actually have intentionality and mindfulness in them all my actions, right? Um, and to be able to be present. Um, I think that, you know, that specific mechanism within myself that I think I've, I'm on this ever, ever journey, evolving journey on, right? Um, is this really integral part that I'm trying to really approach from all these different aspects, right? And, and um, with therapy, um, my professional sense, my, my relations and, and everything like that, trying to find sustainability in it, right? And I think that it's hard because it's really layered, right? There's my individual responses are so so conditioned into all these different relationships that I have and within these different people like any other human, right? I think that's why it's so important to look at it as a relationship-based approach. And all my responses are um, both conditioned out of one, this insane ancestry of living organisms that goes back to the origin of life and then do just like my immediate family, right? You know, and how I was raised. And then also like how I've made these choices and how I've like chosen to become these different things and how I've been, you know, um, formed and damaged my own pathways in my brain. 
I think that really understanding, you know, like how to get to and actually to be able to define what is that state of being, what is that nirvana, that Shambhala, whatever that, you know, other places, whatever that transcendence is, and being able to actually understand what does that mean in a real life sense to myself, right? And like, what does it mean to be in a mental space that has access to that, right? And to actually like be in a, something that has like peace, right? And is able to be mindful and react. I don't know if I really get a great answer from a crystal ball on that, right? Or if it's a really monkey bot approach, or if I can get like maybe a download PDF of it. But I think it would be something really interesting to like know like that individual mechanisms of like, just like truly like, how do I respond to these things? And like, why do I respond to these things? And I think that we, even though that answer might be very complex or very simple, uh, maybe it is just like that this is all a simulation and I don't have any agency and I react the way because it's a sim option and I'm just some avatar of whatever the alien dude, right? Just fucking around uh, trying to see if this order universal number 38421 is actually going to take off or not, right? I don't know. I'm not here to have that question of agency around it. I'm here to assume that one way or another, right? Though I would like to understand like why does that reaction happen the way those things happen? I think that, you know, I think the answer could be actually attainable through both mechanisms, both without free will and with free will. You know, I think that, obviously there's some probably some pretty big consequences on that, right? But, you know, being able to understand that, like, uh, relationship with myself, I think, is something that is really interesting to me. Um, I think that's, like, how I can actually ultimately fundamentally show up for someone else then, too, right? Um when I can actually have that agency of choice over how I react to things and like being able to choose how do I show up to it in compassion and meet them where they're at without putting my own preconceptions and judgments on it, right? It's an interesting thought at least. I think it would be really cool to also know like, um, like where, where do I get the best burger? Like, or like something like that too, you know, <laughs> just something really silly about my future. Just like, where do I get the best whatever of this? And it's like, how do I make that my most regular uh, food source? You know, uh, there's always the fun little hacks of that, <laughs> of that too. Well, Traveler, you were stuck with just me today. So today's going to be a quick one. Wherever you might be at in your journey, I hope you are well. You are loved. Gary, do you have anything for the Traveler? Gary, he's going to eat your food? Okay, bye, bye. Well, Traveler, wherever you are, just know you are loved. And God damn it, you are enough. Once more, but innumerable times more.